What's up everybody and welcome to another video with the Georgia Assassin. It's hot outside today so I'm making the video inside on my couch. Alright, so for any of you who have been curious about big bore air rifles, I've done a lot of research. I've been researching them for well over a year. Um, finally decided on one. I chose the Benjamin Bulldog and I chose it for several different reasons. Um, I've been looking for a weapon that I could let my kids shoot, mainly my seven-year-old son, that is not going to promote um, bad shooting in the future. I remember growing up <clears throat> shooting weapons and shotguns and um, 30 out sixes and 30-30s with my dad, my grandpa, my grandmother, and um, you know it. it they beat me down. I mean, I remember shooting the 12 gauge and having my whole shoulder <laughs> bruised and um, not really wanting to shoot after that. So I've been looking for something that will teach a good training habit as far as um, not, you know, when you slowly squeeze the trigger that you don't get, you don't develop this because you're anticipating the crack or the, you know, shoulder breaking um, recoil. So I decided on the Benjamin Bulldog. Um, it came in, finally. Um, I do have it. And I'm going to show you what you get as it comes out of the box. I've watched several videos on this. I got the combo. It was like the sportsman package. So it's pretty much everything that you need except for the pump, um, which I did buy a pump as well. And I'll show you that further on in the video. So thanks for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm just going to lay everything out here on my couch. So what we're going to be starting with is the carrying case that came with it pretty nice carrying case. Um, I'll go ahead and take it out of the bag for you and check it out. Yes. So there it is. It's got the plastic. I know the light is not that great in here. I like my house to be dark. I've got all my windows tinted. Um, so that's the case. It's really nice. Really good made. Great stitching. Made very well. Um, it also came with a, a strap that you can attach here. Throw it over your shoulders very nice case here's a picture or here's some video of the um, the strap that came with it the shoulder strap hold it up here you can see it a little better it's actually it's also embroidered with the Benjamin logo hold this up see if you can see it better here a nice dark tan case also included in the package was the scope it's a very nice scope heavy duty about 125 bucks on Amazon uh, included in the package. Um, there you go. So the package does come with a scope. Next up is the Benjamin Gunsling. It's also embroidered black. Um, very nice. Really impressed with the quality of all everything associated with this package so far. Alright, so next up is the bipod. Came with a bipod. Um, I'll open it up for you real fast. We're gonna put it together here in a little bit, so you can see what it's all. It's hardware and it's the actual bipod. It's pretty heavy. I mean, it's not cheap by no means. I mean, it feels heavy duty. But we'll we'll test out the durability later on all the products. All right, let's talk about the ammo. It came with one box of the Nosler Ballistic Tip Extremes. We'll go into further detail on that. I'll get some out and let you check them out. Um, but they came with one pack of these. These are about between $17.99 to $25 depending on where you buy them. I also went ahead and picked up some other rounds. These are these will be the rounds that, that we practice with, um, mainly because the other ones are so expensive, and we'll get into all that later. So these are um, flat points, 27 grain, and then I went ahead and bought uh, an additional pack of nozzles because this is what we use to sight the weapon in. And last but not least is the pump that I bought. This is the Benjamin high pressure hand pump and I know what y'all are saying 
that man, that's gonna be a heck of a fun time pumping it up. And I don't disagree with you. But as much as these things cost, like I said, it was it was something I debated buying for a long time, multiple months, years. Um, and I just couldn't see spending the the extra money at the time. So I bought this. And I'll also do a video in the coming days or weeks, whenever I muster up the energy to um, do a video on how long it takes to pump up one of these Benjamin Bulldogs with the hand pump from zero PSI to 3,000. All right, so last but certainly not the least, um, this is the most important piece. And this, it didn't come in one box like I had assumed it would. It was in two separate boxes all this stuff was. So here we go. Get her open. And there's the Benjamin Bulldog. Again, I apologize for the lighting in here. It's comfortable sitting in here with the AC on, but not so good for videos. Alright, moving on. So, this is the Benjamin Bulldog. This is the way it's packed. It comes with a... Um, Kit in here also comes with your five round rotary clip it's got some pellet gun oil that is actually not made for this gun I know that because prior to the video I got too excited opened it up so I could take a glance at it um, the main thing is, is I wanted to you know feel it to make sure it didn't seem cheap um, and I opened the pack so I could just look at the like I said the rotary clip so this comes with this pellet gun oil. It plainly says on here, not for use with, with brake barrel or pre-charged pneumatic air gun. So this is going to be used on um, my son's one of my son's other pellet guns. So, but cool that they put it in there. It's got a couple of uh, cleaning swabs for your barrel. It's got a rod in here to clean your barrel with so really cool that it comes with that I have no clue what it came with that and then of course your owner's manual now I'll go ahead and tell you this gun is incredibly well built um, it is it's a lot heavier than what it seems it's seven pounds seven and change but I'm, I'm here to tell you, this thing is very well built. I was really concerned with it. I knew it was made out of plastic. It doesn't seem like plastic though. If you have a crossbow, then you know um, what I'm talking about. Like my crossbow is a hard, very hard, dense uh, composite polymer or something like that. It's, it's some type of plastic, but it's really dense. It doesn't feel like your kids um, play guns or Nerf guns. It's really heavy duty. Got a great looking camo pattern on there. And this is how they shipped it. No air. That's the way it's supposed to be. So, very nice gun. I'm going to get it put together. But, I mean, looking at it, I know they're expensive, but for what you get, and for my purpose, for wanting to purchase for my Something to get familiar with firearms and um, firearm safety and you know shooting, learning how to make good shots from the start, not shooting something that's too big for them, shooting to something that's capable of bringing down a deer or coyote um, ethically is a big deal to me. That's why it was worth the investment. That's pretty much it. Um, I, I would like to add. I would like to add that this combo is not no dinky combo. It's not, it does not cheap. It is heavy duty. I'm trying to think of some of the things that I was curious about um, prior to purchasing it. One was um, if it was actually thin plastic or not. It is not. Um, one was the size of the bullets. So I almost forgot about that. And, then, and it only comes with um, one pack of nozzles if you buy the combo. Like I said, the other stuff I bought separately. Um, nozzles are expensive. It cost about, depends on where you're buying from, but about 78 to 88 cents per shot. But it's what I'm going to side in with. The scope is a mil dot scope. So it'll be kind of like 
hunting with your crossbow or your bow, same kind of concept. You're gonna have to know your ranges. So my plan is to sight it in at 50 yards on the money with the nozzles. Uh, I'll, then I'll shoot um, with no changes at 100. And figure out which dot I need to raise to for that distance. And then I'll shoot it at 20 yards and see how low, which lower dot I need to go to for shooting. All right, so on the nozzles, it has game recommendations. This is what you don't see when you're watching uh, videos on YouTube. Well, I haven't seen them, I'll put it that way. Um, this has game recommendations. So here's your game recommendations. Raccoon, Coyote, and Javelina. Um, but there are videos of people taking white-tailed deer. And so I'm, I'm assured that it will have no problem doing it. But as with any weapon or um, situation, you know, you have to make the best shot possible. And sometimes you don't even get a shot. Um, at that deer or that doe or whatever comes out in front of you because it just doesn't give you the, the best opportunity and sometimes you have to let them walk. So here are the bullets. Give you a comparison. They're they're really nice. Uh, they're definitely smooth. There's the recess on the back. Um, 145 grain. Hopefully that gives you some an idea of what they how big they are, what they look like, and all that good stuff. It's just a little plastic um, tip on there. And there's 25 in a bag. I'm going to show you these Seneca pellets that I got. And I got these because it was close to the, to the grain of the nozzle that I'll be using for hunting. But I needed a cheaper alternative to actually practice with. Now, as far as sighting in goes, I will use the nozzles, and that's what I'll, once they're sighted in, no matter where the other one's hit, that's what I'm gonna use. So, and there's a lot of different brands out there of pellets that you can buy. Um, I just happened to go with these because I didn't really look at the brand. I was just looking at the, at the pellet itself. I wanted to get the round nose. I ended up getting the flat nose or the flat point. It was pretty much like a nine millimeter slug. But um, 127 grain. I got a hundred of those for um, focus, focus. I got a hundred of these for I don't know five six bucks less than the nozzle. So twice the fun. All right, well there you have it. That is exactly what you get when you order the combo. Um, I'm very excited to shoot it. I'll have some videos coming up, like I said before, in the coming days or weeks. I'm gonna pump it at 3,000 PSI with the hand pump from the start. That way everybody kinda knows what you're getting into. If you're like me and just can't afford at the time of the heavy purchase of the gun and the combo, or you just, you know, you wanna hand pump them, which I, it can't be that bad. I mean, really. Uh, I'll find out. Huh. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. I've got a lot more videos to come. Hunting season is right around the corner. And um, that's what I do. I get out there in the woods and make stuff happen. Your season starts here second Saturday in September. Always has. Hopefully it always will. Um, I'll be doing some videos of shooting this, getting it sighted in, pumping it from zero up to 3,000, pumping it from 2,000 PSI back to 3,000 PSI whenever we go um, sight it in. And then I can also let you know how loud it is and all that good stuff. I've heard or read that it's not backyard friendly, so um, we'll figure all that out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.